She's the biggest name in US women's football. And now Alex Morgan's the captain of the new National Women's Soccer League franchise, Orlando Pride. Orlando is such an interesting soccer market, and I think a lot of people didn't really realize it until um, they brought an MLS team. So, like, just seeing kind of the, the craziness um, within Orlando City and with the fan support, um, I saw it as something special. And when, uh, when the club wanted to bring on a women's team, I wanted to take that on as a challenge and kind of be that first player to sign with, with Orlando and help them build into being one of the best clubs in the world. The Pride are sitting in fourth place after five matches and the forwards keen to repeat her international success at club level. It's been a lot of learning as well though because it's a new team and we have to try to go on an accelerated path, you know, because all the other teams are well established and used to playing together. Um, I think the one thing we have going for us though is the fact that our average age is probably, is probably older than most teams. Um, Tom did a great job bringing on the players that he did. And so we only have like three or four players under the age of 25, which is pretty surprising for NWSL, given the fact that the salary cap isn't very high and that um, there's not a lot of internationals that have come over. I think it's great the team that he's been able to bring in for the first year. I mean, I think the club will tell you that we want to make playoffs because that's ultimately, um, we want to have enough points in regular season to make playoffs. Um, but, you know, a goal of mine is to keep the fans coming back as well. You know, we had a huge um, crowd the first game, but, and I expect a little bit of a drop, but I don't want to see it drop too much. Morgan made her international debut in 2010 and appeared in the Women's World Cup the following year. In 2015 in Canada, she went on to win it. They were so different. Um, 2011, you know, we, we went into it like super confident. Um, we felt like we played really good soccer at the end of the day. Like we, we felt like we were deserving of the title and not to discredit Japan because, you know, we're, they were, they had a Cinderella story and um, they deserved it as well. There was two teams that deserved the win. 2015 was just, was so different. You know, coming in to the tournament with some injuries, but feeling like I had established myself a lot more, feeling like I deserved that starting spot. Um, but not really feeling like I was on the top of my game because of those injuries and not being as fit. It was a very different experience. I felt like there was a lot more against us and um, the team getting kind of a little bit of negativity from the media and saying that we weren't playing our best football. Um, it was a lot different than 2011. Um, so going into each game, I felt like we built and built and built and continue um, growing throughout the tournament and I felt like by the time we got to the semifinal, we were playing really well. By the time we got to the final, um, it was like we were unstoppable. It was, it really was a fairy tale finish. I, none of us could have imagined finishing that way. I think it's something that we always dreamed about, you know, having a, a World Cup championship and lifting that trophy and celebrating with, with my teammates. It was almost a surreal moment, and it, it took me a couple of weeks to sink in, but I finally understood. Um, what we did and how special it really was. Ever ambitious, Alex Morgan has so much yet to achieve. What's next is is Rio. For me, it's continuing to to grow myself and as a teammate and player on the national team. And you know, I want to. In 2012, I was brought to um, Switzerland by FIFA as one of the best players in the world, and I haven't been brought since then. And so. That's a big goal of mine to be brought back and to be honored again, as well as for the first time ever winning a World Cup and um, an Olympics back to back because uh, no women's team has ever done that before. <laughs>